When I wake up, I try not to think about the race because you can't control it until you get there. Not too nervous, just think about all the hard work that I've put in. When I get up to the gate, I just get excited, can't wait to ride my bike. I'm just excited that I'm able to have that opportunity. I just put it all out there. BMX is basically a bunch of piles of dirt that you just go as fast as you can. I started racing when I was six years old. We uh, found a, a little flyer at the local grocery store. My brother started. When Joey was at the track racing, Sophia, of course, was there as a spectator and thought, this looks fun. I'd like to try it. And she did, and she got hooked. Soap was 14 and 15. There were 14 and 15 year old boys that were glad they didn't have to race it. Locally, I try to compete against the boys as much as I can, but national wise, I can only race girls. Just love watching how they're competing with the guys and, and really fires them up. I won't rack in the gate with her. Her gate face scares me. She can handle the jumps, the turns, her power out of the gate. She has an amazing start, which really sets her apart from a lot of her competitors. Once she stopped running track and decided to, to focus on BMX, really that first year is when she started excelling. Honestly, she went to all the nationals and did really well. And um, we realized that she was going to be something special. She has a great deal of talent. Her work ethic is really what's pulled her to the top. And I think when she started riding with us, looking to uh, do a little more within the sport, she really started to excel. And it was purely on her own desire and drive. When I won the national title, actually I crossed the finish line and I had no idea that I won it. They basically pushed me up on the stage and I didn't know what was going on. That was probably the coolest thing ever. I saw her work so hard getting up to that point and it was just really cool to see all that pay off. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. It's like watching my daughter do something and achieve this title and it was such a great moment. Honestly, when I got up there, I was so excited, but I was also thinking of all the people back home, all the people that helped me, my family, all the coaches here, the local program, because I wouldn't be there without them. I didn't win it by myself. It was a team effort. The first one? First one. Likes the first part of the track. It's my favorite too. Sophia started helping me with clinics uh, quite a few years ago. And two years ago, we had the opportunity to start working with um, some deaf kids that had come out to the track. We could actually see the excitement after she had participated with the um, deaf clinic. She lit up, she enjoyed it, she, she had so much fun. And it was so humbling, you know, to be able to work with these kids and um, you know, Sophia's had the opportunity, you know, with school and stuff too, um, to work with these kids. Okay, so freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Okay. You ready? Come on, try. I felt like after that experience, seeing them and just seeing them interact with each other, I thought it was so cool. And if I wanted to do something like that in the future, that would be so great to know. And I was really inspired by them, so it really made me want to learn the language. When a lot of kids go to school and they, and they have to pick a second language and they just Spanish or French, Epic Sign Language is very unique and it's very challenging and, and it shows you really want to do something and, and make a difference with people. A lot of like the local kids I already know and I've already known for a long time, but these kids I've never met and I see them improve just in a couple hours and it's amazing to see their smiles and how excited they get for trying something new and that's one of the best things ever, knowing that I'm able to be a part of that. It makes me feel good that she's getting out of her comfort zone to learn something new and to connect and help others um, enjoy something that uh, she can enjoy. You know, kids are a good, good judge of character, um, and for them to come up and feel that comfortable with a, your 16-year-old daughter, it, it's pretty cool. And you know, I, I just think it's it says a lot about her as a person and how humble she is. I 
yeah, the 2020 Olympics in Japan, that, that'll be big time. It's exciting just to even think about it. Um, what an opportunity and an honor. I would definitely not be surprised to see her in the Olympics, just because she has like a work ethic of none other. It's so exciting that I'm on my way and it's and that I'm able to prepare for it and maybe have that opportunity because every little kid dreams of that, of course. It's, that'd be way cool. It's amazing. I mean, if you think of the percentage of athletes that actually get to the Olympics, it's so small. And to know that she has a chance is, yeah, is I'm beside myself thinking about it. If and when she does that, it'd be a cool story for her to tell her grandchildren. And, you know, we're, as long as she's happy, that's what's most important to us. Hopefully in BMX I can make it as far as the Olympics. That's my ultimate goal. What would I tell Sophia if you tell her one thing? Don't change a thing. You, you're doing all the right things. She's an amazing, amazing young lady. Kind of chokes me up thinking about her. The best compliment that I feel like somebody could give me was that, that I helped them in some way. And I always want to help people because I have the best support team in the world. So if I can give that back to somebody else, that would mean the world to me. I have two daughters, and when I look at so, that's what I want my daughters to be like. Yeah, she's an amazing athlete, but she's a tremendous human. In the future, I don't know exactly what I want to do, wherever it takes me. I just want to be happy.